Was the de Havilland Vampire a dangerous aircraft to abandon by parachute? The de Havilland Vampire, while a pioneering jet fighter, presented significant challenges for pilots forced to abandon the aircraft by parachute. The Vampire's high speed and low altitude operations during the early days of jet aviation increased the risk of fatal injuries during abandonment. The unique twin boom configuration, with the horizontal stabilizer mounted on the booms, posed a significant hazard. In the event of an emergency, the pilot risked colliding with the booms or the stabilizer during abandonment, increasing the risk of injury or even death. These factors made emergency escapes from the Vampire a perilous undertaking, highlighting the importance of careful design considerations and pilot training in the early days of jet aviation. What would have been the safest method of abandoning the aircraft?